All right, uh, hello all. It's that time again for more Arch Linux torture uh, and at manipulating uh, Grub and uh, customize a team uh, to just the basic uh, manipulation of the Grub configuration file. So welcome back. And Grub is a Grand Unified Bootloader, which uh, should pick up most operating systems. I mean, I'm sorry, that's OS Grubber which should work with the most operating systems. And yes, I mentioned that OS Prober to pick up other uh, partitions that have other desktop environments on them. Okay, so there's a lot uh, to it, actually. Um, you can make it as simple as you want or as complex as you want. And I'll step, try to step through the best I can through some examples. So first of all, your Grub CFG. Open a terminal, uh, sudo your text editor, etsy, default, uh, grub. And here we go. And there's many things you can change in here, which I've, ar I've done already, just to show you the uh, intro. <laughs> um, the top here usually is default grub zero. I used saved. And at the bottom, you uncomment grub saved default equals true. You just take out the hashtag. Another thing is the resolution. It's very important. The grub graphics mode, that's usually auto. But I changed it to 1024 by 768. Most grub themes that you download and install recommend that. Another one is a grub distributor. You can put your username in there. It'll come up as arch, your username, then Linux after and other command line variables and uh, more things you can have a custom background and a, a custom theme or just a pre-made theme and you can even have a custom fonts all right so that's what i have so far in my grub to have different menu entries is uh, use uh, again sudo your text editor etsy again grub dot d 40 underscore custom and i should have mentioned this is arch linux it might be different under a debian based system but arch it's uh set up like this um it's blank so there's nothing here in the first place in the beginning when you have this and i just added a mock entry for windows um using the, the uh, arch linux wiki wiki whatever you want to call it um, so I didn't really, it doesn't really matter too much if it's a BIOS or anything because it's just a, it's nothing there. Uh, the menu entry for system shutdown and system restart, you can name it anything you want and just call it shutdown or restart and the echo. Depending if you have a solid state drive, you probably won't even see the echo rebooting. <laughs> but that's where you would do that, uh, some custom entries. And then if you go to your file manager, I, I just made a shortcut to grub uh, themes. I made a test theme directory and just added in uh, just different backgrounds you could try, a highlight menu, icons, and I borrow from other themes that are um, that I've downloaded on Arch Linux, so Arch Seuss, Dharma, and Starfield's there, Mangel. Just look at the theme.txt, that's what's in common. Each one of these has a theme.txt file. In addition, global uh, custom or whatever backgrounds go into the uh, the root menu of grub, so slash boot slash grub. Um, and you can get them off anywhere, the internet. You can uh, have them from your own system, from wallpapers or whatever. The thing with uh, some JPEG files, you have to Usually you want to use, um, not Grub, sorry, um, GIMP. I'm not sure if I still have that image. Here's one. And you see here, there's uh, the watermark and the uh, Mandriva and the uh, older KDE menu. So I don't need that anymore. That doesn't work too good. So let's open this with uh, uh, GIMP. And just manipulate it, uh, such as uh, hit the, the uh, square highlight 
text and just, uh, just overdo it here and just press Control X and then uh, grab the uh, background color and highlight something like that and press OK. Hit the bucket there and you fill it in. The very top, same thing, same idea. Control X to cut that out and then uh, again with the bucket and select none. Oops. Uh, Control Shift D to export, or you can use it for, from the menu. Uh, give it a name. I usually call them Splash One Two. Just for this is going to be just a splash. Anything you want, actually. Uh, splash. Sorry. What is with me? Splash Zero Zero. Now the next part is you have to go to Advanced Options, and it seemed to work for me. Optimize, uncheck, progressive, any kind of uh, fancy parameters uncheck them okay and then click export and there you go you don't have to discard changes or whatever so there's the splash zero zero as you can see here so that's with jpeg files i think uh pngs are fairly safe such as this one um but depends on uh, the image if you want to make custom fonts you can Okay, as you see here, again, globally it'll be in the boot grub, in your themes if you want, uh, oh actually no, you can specify customized uh, fonts in here, or you can uh, manipulate, depends on the theming though, or you can manipulate your grub configuration file to have a certain uh, font size. So I've made like, uh, I think that's 24, 14, and 16 size fonts. I think I have a document. There it is there. The basic idea, and it's different in Arch, it's sudo grub-mk font, the output to boot grub, the global folder, and the .pf2, and the size. So I made one 24 to overemphasize, just to make it obvious. Uh, from the USR, USR share fonts TTF and then T Deja Vu Sans Mono TTF, and that will convert that over. So if I go back into terminal and edit my default grub, you have to add an entry in right here. You have to actually manually add grub underscore font capital letters equals pass to your custom. Uh, fine. So I'm going to uncomment and I'm going to put in 16 one that I made. Okay. And depending on the scene, it, uh, it might take it or it might not. So you just do a. Uh, what else went on? Pseudo mk config. I'm sorry, pseudo grub dash mk config dash o slash boots. And yeah, I do have an alias for this, so I don't have to keep typing all this out. Okay, and just issue a reboot and see if the font made any difference. Yes, it did. It's, uh, well, you, maybe you can't tell, but it's larger. And you can have uh, edit selection entries in here. So E. And you see that it's a little strange looking. Okay. And it's actually editing the uh, whatever the highlighted entry is. So if you edit, there you go. Okay, so just uh, boot back in. So from here, I'll try to go back to some of the default grub. So saved equals zero. Uh, the bottom line here, uh, put comment that out and uncomment the font uncomment the scene and the colors I've already changed them uh, you can have like light blue green and uh, the highlight color being red and so on so if you want just a basic background and without your username so you can just uh, uncomment grub dash background and it actually has like path to image or something but 
Just make it boot, grub, splash, whatever. Uncomment that. And that's fairly close to what I had in the graphics mode. And save, and I have an alias for that uh, um, grub in the mk config file up dash grub. <laughs> and just issue a reboot. I should just have a basic image. There we go. And that's your my default grub here, as you can see. And yes, the uh, those restarts will work. You press restart, and you can also, if you had uh, this, I don't have Windows on here. It's just a mock, as I said. Um, it'll remember if you have the saved and uh, entry. It'll remember what the last entry was. So I'll just uh, go back into the. So again, just by manipulating the default grub and specifying your text colors, you can have a highlight of red and so on. All right, so a quick rundown, um, just to get, if you want to make your own theme, um, I just use whatever, like I said, took parts from different themes and incorporate them. Just open your terminal and sudo mkdir and whatever you want to call it, dir uh, slash boot grub scenes uh just call i'm going to call it test two and then sudo touch and that same pass uh slash scene dot txt okay and then now if you go into your uh file manager themes now we have test two and the scene dot text which is blank so I could take this control A, control C and copy everything. Basically what I, that's what I did uh, to get started and just sort of figure out where uh, things went and uh, colors and stuff. So you have a, a simple progress bar, the boot menu, uh, things such as the uh, item color, selected item color, the menu color, and the selected item Pixmap style equals this, and I found that this kind of uh, format select underscore something and an underscore asterisk dot PNG seems to work. And you have to make your own uh, of everything, so like this here, um, it's not very good, but <laughs> it works. Just a basic highlight um, for the background. And the Arch logo and icons uh, came from the Arch Linux one, as you see here. And you just copy, copy them over as root into whatever your new theme directory is. Okay, to wrap this up, I should mention uh, things such as OS-Prober. I didn't have it installed since I don't have any other operating system in VirtualBox. Um, it's probably your best bet. Uh, to find other operating systems. If you want to do it manually, there's the grub probe command, which is here. Okay, and uh, what you do is open your file manager and mount whatever you want to find. And just copy that path. Now, um, since I made uh, Win Windows 10 a custom entry instead of just as default, it's not going to show you the unique identifier. So just copy that. Okay, so just tack on sudo, and then if it's uh, spaces, if the name is in spaces, if you hadn't, if you manipulated the custom name, you just type in like so, your username, of course, and there's a unique identifier there. So you would edit your menu in uh, your system. Uh, the 40 custom uh, grub and uh, 40 underscore custom and where it has this is for legacy BIOS I'm sorry is that's where you would change it right there so the number that you got from here you just cop oops you just copy that and uh, just highlight it and 
paste it over, save and close. And it should find your Windows operating system legacy. However, it might be under system reserved. All right, uh, it's a lot of stuff. I probably didn't cover everything aspect of Grub. I know the console area I didn't touch on at all. Sorry about that. But it should be enough to get you started and uh, maybe paste some pictures or, um, yeah, you'd be running VirtualBox if you can grab a screenshot of a custom grub entry you made or whatever. Uh, please feel free to add that. So that should do it for this one. And uh, grub in Arch Linux and whatever day it is, nice cool day. All right, so thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.